Frank Summer and her mother were at the best place around. Some stupid with a flare gun burned the place to the ground. Smoke on the water, a fire in the sky. I have no idea what the name of this program is, but you're watching it. Backstage. All you ever want. Backstage. All you ever need. Backstage. Your dreams will be fulfilled once you are there. You'll never want to leave. You want to sell your ass for that backstage pass. Backstage, just for the invited. Backstage, they laid on everything. Backstage, da 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 da. Backst Hello, welcome again to my weekly streaming, Rudy Backstage International. Today, you see in the background, FICO is our topic, and we are actually at a very interesting location. This is FICO's restaurant in Vienna. I can only recommend it. Uh, it's now in the middle of summer, therefore it's quite hot outside, not in here. But you see here a lot of memorabilia of FICO's career and life. You see gold and platinum records, they are the real ones, I checked them. Uh, there is photographs, there's some photographs with Rudy even. <laughs> and there's some photographs which I took. And there are photographs and videos which I did. So. This is a little FICO magical history tour. If you are in Vienna, you should check it out. Come here. Also, there's a very, very, very good kitchen and great food. So, and it's really, really big. So you can always have a quiet corner here. So FICO's restaurant is uh, a new uh, location here in Vienna, which I recommend uh, very, very much. And FICO, as you know, well, you know, I was uh, I'm privileged to direct all the videos for him. And uh, what I think, um, there is a lot of people who talk about FICO these days. You know that he was one of my best friends. And what I want to do now is that I want you to listen to what FICO said. It is in German, yeah, so you have to, um, you know, be a little bit um, clever. But I want you to listen to some of Falco in his own words. So here are some excerpts of Falco interviews. Naja, es kommt darauf an, was man, was man sich noch großartig beweisen möchte. Ne? Ich bin eigentlich ein Einmannbetrieb. Ich bin die Quelle. Ich habe also kann, wenn ich so, wenn ich so Schlagzeilen lese, wie ich brauche mir nichts mehr zu beweisen, weil ich habe eh schon genug verdient und mir dann vorstelle, wie ein Geschäftsmann das sieht, der muss sich denken, der Bub ist ganz schön blöd, weil genug kann man nie haben. Nur muss man 
das unter folgenden Vorzeichen sehen. Ich bin ja mit mir eigentlich ziemlich allein. Und ich habe also mit 27 war ich Nummer 1 in Amerika und dachte mir, na was jetzt noch? Also wie geht's? was soll ich, was soll ich jetzt noch? Alles, was ich tun könnte, wäre im Prinzip eine, eine geschmackvolle Wiederholung anzustreben. Ich möchte hier bleiben, also muss ich hier meinen Lebensbereich einmal schaffen. Ich muss einmal die ganze Wäsche sortieren, die so angefallen ist in acht Jahren. Und äh, da ist ja einiges passiert. Ne? Infolgedessen, um auf deinen Chart-Erfolg zurückzukommen. Man begibt sich, wenn man eine Schallplatte macht, natürlich in den Clinch mit der Industrie. Man verbündet sich ein bisschen mit ihr, man begibt sich in Verpflichtungen. Meine gegenwärtige Situation zu beschreiben ist eigentlich ganz einfach. Ich habe für die letzten drei LPs eine Mörderkohle ähm, verdient und ähm, habe eigentlich ganz gut ausgesorgt. Nur glaube ich, dass ich noch einiges zu sagen habe. Was sollte ich auch sonst anders tun? Es hat fast fünf Jahre gebraucht, um mich seelisch und, und überhaupt in, in allen meinen Auslotungen meiner Seele wieder ein bisschen ins Lot zu kriegen. Und äh, warum stürzt man sich, zurückkehrend auf deine Frage, immer wieder aufs Nein des Abenteuer? Das ist der Thrill. Und der Thrill ist, eine gute Platten gemacht zu haben. Ich werde gute Platten machen, ich werde wieder schlechtere machen. Ich äh, kann nichts anderes. Das ist mein, äh, meine Berufung, mein Talent, mein Inhalt, mein Beruf, meine Profession, meine Begabung oder ich werde euch nicht erspart bleiben. I have some great news, which is actually breaking news. Here in Vienna, as we speak, in the moment there is a new Falco musical in the making. It will be out in uh, 2023, so next year from when I record this streaming. And both of the Boyland brothers, Rob and Freddy Boyland, who are already, uh, you know, for a long-term uh, relationship with Falco, uh, they will be involved. And what I talk to Rob about is not only because they have the rights to, you know, they were co-writing Rock Me Amadeus, Chini, they were also co-writing Vienna Calling and a lot of other hits, but they are writing new music, new music, maybe even with Falco voices that they still have in their archive. So for all the Falco fans, that's gonna be something really, really interesting. The new Falco musical um, with the contribution of Rob and Ferdi Boland. There might even be some uh, uh, exclusive film materials of mine involved. That's not decided yet, but those two guys are definitely involved. And um, I think you should mark this on your calendar. Of course, I am uh, all together involved, involved, involved in my Freddie Mercury book. Uh, um, uh, this is, of course, one something which takes a lot of my time. Um, I'm very happy with all the reactions. Thank you very much. Please, everybody who has the book, and it's mainly German, of course, in the moment, please send me, first of all, what you think about the book. And then if you make a photograph of you and the book on the side, I'm happy to post this. So maybe you want to do that as well as some fans. I want to reach the fans through the fans. Some of you have been asking me uh, um, if I will be at, um, at Montreux. I don't know yet. It looks like I might be there private, not as part of the program. But um, uh, stay tuned for more information about that. And now, uh, let me have you look at the video which includes everything which in the moment is the latest news about my friend Freddy, the long-awaited Freddie Mercury books which I wrote. Stanley Gillespie here. I'm in Jazzland in Vienna, a place I've been coming to since 1980. And today, marvelous, this book, here I am, naked of course, <laughs> in the bath with Rudy Dolitzow. You look exactly like you look today. No, yeah. There's no well, difference. This must have been taken about 1981, 1982. Correct. Um, from that program. Born in Malco, yep. when I was singing with the Mojo Blues Band, and every 10 years, roughly, 
you, you and I, Rudy, we get naked again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> into the bathtub with lots of shower, as you call it here, foam, and we do another interview. Yes. So we're just about coming up to the fourth one, mm -hmm. which will be interesting. So I'm in his book, and the pictures of me and him are in my book, which has just come out for Weren't Born a Man. So. I should have had my book here too. I should have used it as a <laughs> as a bikini. Top. I will put it in. I cut it in, darling. Yes. And you are wonderful. Thank you so much. I it's love you. It's good to be on the screen. Yay! <laughs> and after this, I think you are. Can you take it standing up? I can give it to you lying down. Come on. Try playing with fire. Und wer es noch nicht gelesen hat, aber hallo, Buchtipp des Jahres. All right. Come on, let me take you by the hand. For all of you who follow me uh, on my various um, platforms, you know, I'm on TikTok, I'm on uh, Twitter, I'm on uh, Facebook, of course, Instagram and uh, YouTube, know that I'm doing uh, two, television, two television programs, two weekly television programs for Krone TV, which you can also watch on krone.at. And most of the ones, especially the English speaking ones, I'm uploading to my YouTube channel. So. Uh, again, I would like to give you in English a little bit of an overview of some of the stars that were guests in my talk show for Krone TV. Check it out. Hi, darlings. This is one of the Austrian superstars on stage. She was already a star when she was a little child, so recently. Then with Hubert von Goysern in the famous Watzmann musical, etc., etc. Hi, Sabine. Hi. And we have a unfulfilled love affair since many, many years. Yes. Uh, what are we going to talk about? Uh, we talk about your new book and my new TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. CD. What's this CD? Yeah, this has CD. Krone TV and Krone.at. Rock and roll, darlings. This is the superstar of Austrian rock music, Mr. Reinhold Bilgeri. Hello. Hi. He was aggravating. He was the guy for, who actually had the commissar who was then and gave it to Falco uh, knowing that it becomes a hit. So this is a very interesting gentleman. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you. He's still on stage. He's still writing books. He's still making films. Watch it. Krone.at around the world. Kunt Krone TV. Hi, darlings. This is one of the greatest superstars in Austria, Sabina Hank. Hello. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you again. Yes, we are long-term friends. Uh, we haven't seen each other in a while. Um, she's working on various stage projects, on a film, on a musical, God knows what. Best you watch the show on krone.at, you see it around the world, and you have to speak German. <laughs> <laughs> Love and respect. Again, I want to remind you, uh, my Freddie Mercury book is available in, in Germany already on tradition.com. Um, für die meine deutschen Zuseher in Österreich, Deutschland und die Schweiz, tradition.com, dann auf den Shop gehen und dort bestellen. Bitte, uh, würde mich wahnsinnig freuen. Um, und um, also for English and all other languages, you still have a little bit of window for ordering for only $10. Um, a, a book which I'm going to sign and for $15 a VIP package which includes a lot of other interesting stuff when you go to myfriendfreddy.com. Thank you so much for all the positive feedback so far. I hope uh, um, it's been worth five years in the making, uh, this book. And thank you also, this was it, for watching uh, my streaming. 
Uh, as always at the end, I can only tell you what is the most important thing in life or the most important things in life. Love and respect, as I always say, but because we are in the times that we are, it's also peace. You want to know what goes on backstage? Oh, come on. Let me take you by the hand. Ow! Rudy, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen! The way I see it, Gary, this should be a very dynamite show. You know, I have no idea what the name of this program is, but you're watching it. Backstage. All you ever want. Backstage. All you ever need. Backstage. Your dreams will be fulfilled once you are there. You'll never want to leave. You want to sell your ass for that backstage pass. Backstage is just for the invited. Backstage.